Shut down. Thousands of workers endured lengthy furloughs, a lot of the time without a paycheck. That's right. Now a new report shows exactly what each lawmaker in Congress did with their shutdown pay. NBC 5's Tracy Potts is live in Washington with more on that story. Good morning, Tracy. Lay it out for us. It's got to be pretty interesting. Well, it is interesting, Lauren and Stefan, because remember during the shutdown, all those lawmakers who said, if federal workers aren't getting paid, I'm not going to get paid. I'm going to donate my money. Some of them did, some of them didn't. And we've got the breakdown from the Washington Post. They followed up with all 237 who promised to give up their pay. Turns out not everyone answered that call. About 40% didn't even respond, so we're not sure what happened to their money. But for those who did, almost half a million dollars went to charity and to the federal government because some decided uh, to go ahead and give that money to bring down the debt. The top charity, by the way, was Wounded Warriors. Now, we do have a breakdown of a few of the lawmakers uh, from the Chicago area. Bill Foster ended up giving over $4,300 to the Northern Illinois Food Bank. Brad Schneider donated $5,400 to the Treasury to bring down the nation's debt. Randy Holkren said that he would have his pay withheld, but then at the end, when federal workers ended up getting their retroactive pay, he got paid his money back. So he ended up getting paid just like the rest of the federal workers. Hmm. Interesting numbers there to follow up on. Tracy Potts, live in D.C. for us. Tracy, thanks so much.